Okay, we're back. We're continuing a series on the JIT.LCD object in Max 8. And in this series of videos, we're starting to look at the concept of iteration. So in order to see how this works, um, we have to look at a property of the JIT.LCD object that we have not yet looked at, which is feeding a matrix into it to see what happens. Thus far, we have looked at just drawing. So I've got some framed ovals here. Uh, this is from the last video if you want to see how this works. Just drawing to the screen here, and I can clear it if I would like. Um, but another thing that the JIT.LCD object allows us to do is to just read in an image. So I will just choose this tree image we've been working with, import movie into a JIT.matrix, send a bang through, and then I'm just going to send a bang to update the JIT.LCD object. You can see my trees here. We have not um, my tree's here and it's sent actually to the JIT.LCD object, but because we haven't sent a bang yet, we haven't updated this, this window yet. So just one bang. And now we have a tree drawn into this P window from this JIT.LCD object. And now if I turn on my drawing, I can actually draw on top of it. Now it's important to note that any time I send a matrix, a new matrix, it's going to overwrite anything that was already in the JIT.LCD. So I'm going to click this tree again, and you can see that it's just resetting itself to this entire image, and then it continues to draw on top of itself. So that's kind of cool. That works well, if that's what you're trying to do. Um, but what doesn't actually work so well is if you are doing this with some sort of video. So I have a JIT.grab here, so you're going to see me. Yes, there I am. Oh. And if I have this video on, so you can see that this is running, and then I turn this drawing on, something much different is happening. You can see these circles flashing to the screen, but they're not remaining on the screen. And the reason for this is because this video, which if I pause, there's me, now I can draw on top of this frame. Because I'm not constantly sending frames from the JIT.grab object. But as soon as I turn this video back on, it's sending out new frames to be updated at 24 or 30 frames per second. And so every new matrix goes to this JIT.LCD and covers up all of the circles that were there before. OK, so now we're drawing back on top. So if you, uh, let's see. Where am I? There we go. So if your intent is to mix these two things together, you want a video, a live video feed, and to draw on top of it, um, you need to use a different mixing technique than simply sending the video straight into the JIT.LCD. If your intent was this, where you just have these, I guess if I open my, there we go, where you just have these circles or drawings flashing on top of the screen, then you're, you're you're good. You're good to go with this. OK. So in the next video, what we'll do is we'll look at how this property of sending matrices to a new JIT.LCD object allows us to take a matrix, manipulate it, send it back in, and make some interesting fades um, or changes over time happen.